If you ever wondered how the Portuguese educational system works, this is the video for you because I'll be giving you an intro and a walk through the Portuguese educational system. Let's talk about the Portuguese educational system. You have from the first grade until the 12th grade and after you have university. Before the first grade, what you have is from infant until two years, we call that infantario and creche, that can be public or private after you have from three years until five years, and that's called preschool or jardin d'infancia, and those can be public or private as well. Generally, you can start applying for the next school year in May. So you apply in May to join the September starting school year. Let's talk about basic education, which starts from the first grade until the ninth grade. For a child to join the first grade, he or she needs to be six years old by December 31 to be in that school year. Between the basic education, you have three cycles. First cycle is from first to fourth grade. The second cycle is from the fifth to the sixth grade. And the third cycle is from the seventh to the ninth grade. After the basic education, you have what's called secondary education, that's from 10th grade until 12th grade. So when kids arrive at the, at the end of the 9th grade, they have some decisions to be making. And those decisions are really important because it's going to shape not only their secondary years, but it's also going to shape the direction of where they go in university. Because depending on the area they select, uh, they will be able to go to specific universities and degrees. So they need to really think through how they're going to make that choice and what's the career they're aiming towards. And four areas that exist as an option is you have sciences, social, and human sciences, you have social economics and arts. And by choosing each one of these areas, you're tuning into a specific path that ultimately will be a degree in university. I wanted to give you an example of why it's so important these decisions on the ninth grade. So let's imagine that the kid selects he wants to go to arts. And now he's on the 11th grade and he is in the track of arts. And he figures out, whoa, Engineering is really cool. I actually want to do engineering university. Well, you have a problem because during the first grade and the 11th grade, you didn't have either mathematics or physics. Therefore, you don't have those two grades that are going to be essential for your entry at university. So the school calendar year has three terms. The first term is from September all the way to December. The second term is from January all the way to Easter. And the third term is from end of Easter all the way to June. Let's talk about national exams. On the ninth grade, you do a national exam to let you pass to the 10th grade. And on the 11th and 12th grade, you do national exams that will help you qualify on your entry at university. As an example of the 12th grade exams, national exams, it's going to be the key subjects like Portuguese, English, mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology. If you're getting value out of this video, don't forget to hit that like button because it's free for you and makes a huge difference to our family channel. Thank you. So entry for university. In US, you apply directly to each university. In Portugal, for the public universities, there is a centralized system that's gonna gather all, all the applications. So basically the student goes, does one application, and in that application adds what is his top universities and degrees and submits that application. What will happen is this unified system is going to rank all the students with their grades against their choices and is going to give you your top choice that you qualify by your grade. So Portuguese public universities, they have a really good reputation. They are normally really good schools with some of them even ranking internationally. They are also extremely affordable when you compare with US prices of university. And some of them even have classes in English. 
So the Portuguese educational system has been here for many, many years. It has a really solid public infrastructure and institutions like the universities, the schools, but also has really good private options. And you should consider that this is one of the countries that has really affordable universities. So we are a family of four moving to Portugal and we have two little kids and one day they will be joining uh, the school system. So understanding the Portuguese school system is essential for us. So let us know what are your other questions about the Portuguese education system or studying in Portugal. Let us know down below. Thank you.